To seat the surgical guide, ensure there is no tissue blocking the palatal or lingual slots of the bone foundation guide. Seat the surgical guide with light pressure. It should drop into place. Insert the plastic pins. Do not force them into place. If they do not insert easily, the surgical guide may not be in the proper position. Check again to make sure there is no gauze, tissue, or bone that is still keeping the surgical guide from seating properly. Follow the implant manufacturer's recommended drilling and implant placement protocol. It is imperative that the final rotational position of the implants are in their predetermined final position. In this example, you see the flat of the placement mount is not perpendicular to the blue line. This would cause the temporary cylinders to be in the wrong position. The flat needs to be aligned perpendicular to the blue line. With some implant systems, there are reference dots or lines on the placement mount. This alignment is critical for any implants placed at an angle and optional for non-angled implants. Rotate the implant until the blue line is perfectly aligned to the flat of the placement mount. It is necessary to evaluate this from different angles to ensure it is properly aligned to ensure a complete seating of the surgical guide and the other prosthetic guides.